Hi, I'm Brittany with Birth It Forward, certified birth and bereavement doula, certified yoga instructor, and photographer. All right, today we are going to talk about early labor and some of the things that you can do to help get that labor going. Um, if you have the energy, say you took a nap or just you're, you just have some energy and you'd like to get your labor moving, these are some fantastic moves for you to do. Our first move is going to be a forward leaning inversion. This one you can do in many ways. Um, most of the time I have moms do it off of their couch. You can do it off of a chair. Today we are going to do dolphin pose just right here on the mat. You can do dolphin or even um, downward dog. I'm choosing dolphin because it's gonna get you in a deeper inversion. Okay, let's get started. So for dolphin pose, I do like to warm up my back a little bit before I do any of these. Doing some cat cow, especially if you have a tight lower back. So just do some cat cow to start off with. It's always good to warm up your body. Now, as we get going, what we're going to do is put our elbows to the floor first. We're going to tuck our toes, and then we're going to lift our bottoms in the air. And it's important that you try and get those arms right next to your ears. It is totally fine to have bent knees. As you can see, mine are not perfectly straight. If you need to step and pedal, that is okay too. But we're gonna hold this for a little bit, keeping that breath going. Hold it for three or four breaths. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breathing, try that. Now, as you come down, we did just put a lot of blood to our head. So take a breath, come up slowly, allowing your body to get back into that space so you don't get dizzy. Make your way to your bottom. Our next stretch is going to be the figure four stretch. You can also do this sitting in a chair I don't recommend doing this on a couch. You need something that's a little harder surface. Um, so if you wanna sit in the chair, that's totally fine. Today, I'm going to do it on the mat, on the floor. So make your way down to the floor. Keeping in mind, you have no core left because it's all separated. Take your right leg, cross it, and put your ankle on your left knee. Now what we're going to do is take our hands, interlace the fingers behind the left leg and just let your body get used to the position, keeping both feet flexed and engaged. Using your right elbow, this one back here, push it against your right knee. And deep breaths here. Allowing your body to release the tension that's in your hips that you're holding. And as we breathe, as you exhale, Bring that knee closer to your chest. Pull it in as you push with your elbow on your leg that's up. And if it feels good, see if you can kind of rotate your hips just a little bit towards your base leg. So this is my base leg, the one that is holding my other leg up. So rotate those hips just a little bit toward that base leg and you'll feel a deeper stretch on the outside of your hip. This is a great stretch for lower back pain. And it's also a great stretch to give your baby space when early labor starts. Now release that leg. This one we can hold a lot longer than we can hold the inversion. Inversion you wanna hold 20 to 30 seconds. This one you can hold for multiple contractions, several minutes. So doing the same thing on this leg, we crossed our left leg over our right knee. We're gonna push on our left knee, the one that is crossed with our left elbow as we pull toward ourselves with our, pull our right leg toward us. I'm keeping that breath nice and steady Good job. And if it feels good, again, you can roll your hips 
toward that supporting leg. So this is my supporting leg here. The one that I'm pulling. Feel that nice deep stretch along the outer hip. Release the tension that's in there. Great job. Come back to center. Lower those feet to the floor. Our next stretch is the psoas release. So we're going to start with our knee bent. We're going to take our right leg and bring it up to our chest and release that left leg to the floor. You're going to feel a stretch along the front of this leg that you have down. And just hug your knee to yourself. There are other ways to stretch the psoas muscle. Uh, actually, this is your hip flexor and psoas. Uh, but there are other ways to stretch that those muscles in there. You can do that in a standing lunge. You can lay on your bed and stretch those muscles with a leg hanging down off the, on the floor. This is often the preferred way here. You can do pigeon. All right. Let's release this leg down. Now bend your left leg, pull it up, and we want to pull that left leg into the chest and lower the right to the floor. Feeling that stretch. Deep breaths as we allow those muscles to relax. You're okay. Our next stretch is the piriformis stretch. We're gonna do that in a sitting position. So take your left leg, leave it nice and straight, bend your right knee. If you're comfortable, you can put this over. You can also sit on a chair and do the same thing. It's very similar, practically the four, uh, figure four stretch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lean forward and you're going to feel all of this back here in a nice stretch. breath. On each exhale, go a little deeper into that stretch. Use your ujjayi breathing to help balance you. You're going to feel some stretching down your calf. back up and we're going to switch legs here. Slowly on your exhale, begin to fold forward. Try and keep your back nice and straight as you go forward. So my next one, our next stretch is going to be a tug of war with our hips. This one can be a little tricky by yourself. If you have someone to help you, I highly recommend having some help, but you can do it alone. So again, we're going to make our way to our back. And for this one, try and keep your lower, um, or we'll start with the right leg down, left leg up. Try and keep your left, uh, your right leg totally flat on the floor. Don't let it move. For your right, uh, left leg. Sorry, I'm getting all confused on my legs. 
for the left leg, this one, the one that's up, you're gonna take it, interlace your fingers behind your leg and begin to push against your hand, keeping the rest of your body on the floor and count to 10 while you're pushing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Release that. And then what you're going to do is pull. Uh, the pulling is hard. Okay, here. So push on your knee and pull that leg towards you. And again, we're going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, release, take a deep breath, relax that leg, we're going to do it one more time on both legs, so for the video, we're just going to do it once, but I, I recommend doing it at minimum twice on each leg, but I need the balance, so we're going to do both legs once, all right, so interlock those fingers behind your knee, and Push with your leg and pull with your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you can see, I am very much engaged. I'm shaking, I'm pushing so hard. That is what you want. You want to shake, you want to push, and give it some some oomph. All right, now we're going to Pull our knee forward and push with our hands, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Release that down to the floor. Let's just lower those legs. If you're comfortable, lower them. It's best if you have a pillow. We're not going to stay here for very long. Now, uh, when you're getting up, remember to roll to your side, and then you come up. So the next stretch that I want to do, that I recommend that we do, that all of us do would like to do, is a child's pose. So spread those knees just wider than hip width apart if you don't have a mat. Otherwise, if you have a mat, you're going to spread them about the distance of your mat. You can do this as a supported child's pose. So you can do it on your ball and just kind of rest. You can do it on a large couch pillow, pillow or yoga bolster, or you can do it straight on the floor and just sink down into this position and rest here as long as you're comfortable. Keep our deep breathing. along the inner groin muscles, feeling that stretch along the lower back. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. For now, we're going to come up. Our next stretch that we're going to do is our next stretch that we're going to do are the pelvic tilts. So we want our knees about hip width apart. So you're gonna have a little bit of space between your knees. And for this one, it's very similar to cat cow, only instead of arching the upper back, we're only going to be moving our hips, okay? So we're gonna tilt our hips forward, pulling our belly in. You're not gonna see a whole lot, but you will feel it. So what we're doing is we're engaging those inner core muscles to do these pelvic tilts. So engage them, and we're going to do 15 to 20. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, 
well. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Relax your arms. So our final stretch and movement today is going to be some hip circles. So we just did our pelvic tilt, and you can do these without a break in the middle. You can just keep going. You can also do these hip circles on a ball if that's more comfortable for you. Again, I'm just going to do them right here on the mat, keeping my knees hip width apart. You're going to take your hips, and the rest of your body is not moving. This is just my hips. So it's kind of like I'm pretending I have a tail, and I'm drawing a circle behind me with my tail. After you've done several, say 10 going one way, we're gonna go the other way. These are just the hips that are moving. Great job. Great job today. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Brittany with Birth It Forward. Have a great day.